I'm so thankful that I was brought up by my mom, who was a woman of God, who loved Jesus and who taught me how to pray. And we were in church all the time. So you can bet we were always in church Christmas Eve and I was fascinated with the Christmas story. I want to talk to you about that story because that is God's greatest blessing to you and to me. And this is your morning cup of inspiration. I remember hearing about Joseph uh, pulling a donkey with Mary riding on the donkey and they came into Bethlehem because there was a census and they couldn't find any room in the inn. So they went into a stable and Jesus was actually born in a manger out where the donkeys and the cows and the sheep slept. And here's the son of God and yet he came to earth. And the most amazing thing about this story is that it was predicted 700 years before. When we look in our Bible and we read the prophet Isaiah, who lived 700 years before the birth of Christ, we read in chapter seven, verse 14, it says, therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. And 700 years later, that is exactly what happened. That prophecy was fulfilled in Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. But I'm going to start reading in, in chapter, uh, in verse 18. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. And then in verse 19, then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. See, Joseph didn't know what was going on. He knew that he and Mary hadn't had relations, and yet she was pregnant, and he didn't know what to do. And then verse 20 says, But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And verse 21, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And then verse 22, Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet. And that was Isaiah saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son. And see, they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Because of that story, that true story, God is with us. He's with you and me. He came to earth, not to just live, but also to die for our sins so that you and I can be forgiven and we can live with him forever in heaven because he overcame death when he arose from that grave. Wow, what a great blessing. The greatest Christmas blessing, the greatest gift God could, could ever give us. And I hope you're thankful for the gift of Jesus today. God bless you, and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration. And Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you're taking time to enjoy the meaning of this season. Jesus is the reason for the season.